I would absolutely love if you would subscribe to this channel. So click the little subscribe button and you will be notified of all of the rankings, interviews, recaps, and previews. Uh, what's up everyone? This is Joseph Kanata here and you are watching Hallmark Happenings. After a brush with Christmas, like I was super busy with auditions and had some like really good ones and like for some shows that I was like, I really wanted to be a part of. Yeah, I haven't heard anything. So, I mean, just keep your head up and, and keep grinding away and, 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 you know, embrace new opportunities like this one that came about for this, uh, for this book. So it's, it's, it's been, it's been good. It's like, it hasn't been negative. Everything's, you know, there's positives and everything. And this is one of them for sure. For anyone in a creative field yeah. of any sort you kind of just go with the flow and see which doors open pretty much yeah that's that's kind of how it's been and, and I think like you know my attitude after COVID was kind of like you know I just want to say yes to like most things that I think can bring me some sort of joy and happiness and, and, and creativity so for me to limit myself to say like I just want to be an actor I don't think that's for me I love I want to be an actor obviously but if I'm not busy acting what am I going to do? Right? Like, what am I, what, how am I going to keep myself busy? You know, like there's only so much we can do as performers, you know, you audition, you do your best and you hope for the best. And then it's crickets for a while and then you don't know what's going to happen. So um, I'm just glad, like, you know, I'm keeping all doors open and, and keeping an open mind for certain situations that might arise. I don't know if you like, well, cause I know you recorded some like audio things for the book. Have you done mm -hmm. any other like voice acting? It doesn't have to be, I mean, not like you're being a cartoon character, obviously, but like there's so many others like promo and obviously yeah. audio books and like uh, commercials. Have you done anything in that area? I, I, nothing that I've booked. I remember a couple of years ago when I was like a couple of years ago, geez, like 10 years ago now when I was first starting acting, I remember had a few uh, voiceover auditions but it wasn't for anything like specific it was just like your voice and you're talking over like you're promoting a gym or something and we were going into the studio and like really enjoying that like it's it's fun to kind of hear your voice back and like slow it down talk a different way emote smile when you say something but yeah never never done anything on an official like money making level but I hear people like to hear my voice so I don't I don't know I don't know <laughs> Yeah. It's like calming. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I obviously, I mean, I don't hear that, but the comments I've heard from, from uh, Brittany, the co-author, basically the author of the, the novella, like everything on there, like her, her readers are very, very supportive and happy. And they're like, you know, I remember I read one comment the other day, she was, some woman was saying, you know, he could read the instructions off a washing machine and I would still be happy. I was like, wow. Maybe I, uh, maybe there's something there that I'm not too sure that I need to tap into, but yeah, that, 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 this project has been so much fun. It's been a crazy, crazy, like month and a half from like an idea to literally she has a proof of the hard copy in her hand, like this weekend. So it, it, I haven't had, like, I, mean, I haven't even had time to like read the full thing yet because it's just been like this thing, that thing, doing this, doing that, doing that. And like, I think the book releases next week on the 4th of May. So it's exciting. Yeah, I can't wait. And like what we shot and I, I went to LA to shoot some content and what we shot just came out like so much better than I thought it was going to turn out. We had the ideas of like, yeah, why don't you do some reading of, of the actual portions you wrote in the novella? And we'll use those as like teasers, um, almost like, you know, book trailers. And I said, yeah, let's do that. And then I found some music. We put some music behind it and just, we kind of made it into the, like, just, it's kept evolving. It hasn't been like, this is the idea. Let's do this. It's like, oh, I have, let's go with this. Let's try that. So it's kind of just, it turned into one little thing. And now it's like, yeah, on Amazon on sale next week or pre-order already. Pretty wild. It is wild. It's kind of interesting. Like what you're saying, like you think, okay, a book, right? Just, just like a book, but then there's like the video, like promo trailer element to it. Then you have the recorded version of your voice with it. And then like, apparently there's music, like you're seeing that goes with it. Like, it's kind of yeah. interesting. There's so many elements to this that kind of makes it like an entire experience. And I think like, for me, I never really knew that that, that was like a thing until like two and a half years ago when I met Brittany, um, I, I think she's one of like the first authors to actually go that route with like adding footage and and visuals to a to a book for sales or for promotion. It's it's no longer the days of like, you know, I hear J.K. Rowling's awesome. Let me go to the bookstore and and buy a book. Now because you know with with social media and everything, like there's there's so many avenues to kind of just invent yourself and reinvent yourself and and think outside the box. And she definitely did that and. 
she has knocked it out of the park. Like I must say she's done so well and she's treated me so well and working with her is, is it's a treat. And I know she's going to watch this. So I need to watch what I'm saying. So <laughs> you're doing just fine. <laughs> well, I think she's definitely on the right track. Like covering all of her bases as far as like reaching out to everyone who enjoys different areas of like yeah. the book. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say, but I can't. Say it. <laughs> it's like, it, it, it's, it's so interesting. Like she messaged me on Instagram. Uh, she sent me a message and she was like, Hey, I don't know if you're going to see this probably not, but you've been like a muse for one of my books. And I don't know if you do this, but I'd, I'd love to buy like an image from you for the cover of my not one of my novels, up, upcoming novels. This has been something I've kind of been like dabbling in just as like a side job. Like, sure, why not? It's, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a, I don't want to say an easy job, but like, you know, we've talked about this before with being like on the cover of, of like romance novels and stuff like that. So we, we created something special then and our relationship and friendship kind of just grew snowballed and she had been not bugging me, but she had been like, you know, I think there's something there with you that you could do with writing. Like, do you, like, why don't you write something with me? And I'm like, I am not a writer. I'm, I, I, I journal. Yes, but I do not write. I don't write in like POV. I don't like you're, you're asking the wrong guy. Yeah. And then, you know, two and a half years later, it, it turned into, you know, I'm still not taking much credit as a co-author author or anything like that, but you know, my name's on the book now and it's fun to promote that. Not only are you the image of, of the book, but like, you know, my words are in there. So it makes it that much more special. Uh, it's yeah, certainly very interesting. So are you saying like this entire like partnership collaboration started with her just like messaging you that's, and it, that led to like this point. percent, Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Over, over the span of like two and a half years and, and it, it, it went from, Hey, do you have images available? Hi, I'd like to use you again. Would you be interested in shooting footage for one of my books? And I'm like footage. Like, what do you mean? Like, you know, just like kind of, walking around, brooding, looking to camera, like, you know, like, this, this, I guess, like, what I would do on like a, a romance book set, but with an actual video camera, instead of just photography. And I did that. And I started getting like, really like OCD about it. I wanted it to be like a certain way and look a certain way. So no longer was I getting like a friend to shoot it, I was hiring a photographer, videographer to shoot it. I just wanted it to look good. I take my job all my jobs like seriously so i wanted to you know i want to give the customer a great product basically and uh yeah it snowballed into this into this crazy thing two and a half years later and uh yeah we're both very excited and we're happy with all the reviews that have come in so far it's just it's just it's something special because like we've it's been this thing that's we've done together that like no one really saw coming not even myself so for me i'm like yeah my name's on that that's doesn't make sense yeah that's what's so cool about like like I said, anything in the creative world, um, whether you're an author or actor or model, whatever, how like worlds can collide and like result in like a long lasting partnership. That's so cool for both of y'all to kind of like promote each other's work um, and just get the word out there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and she's been like, she's been working like super hard to try to get her work um, to call it like screenplay, I guess you could, I mm -hmm. guess is the word. Like, like adapted to, to the screen. That's right. Yeah. Like to turn it into a TV show or, um, or a film. And I'm a hundred percent on her side with this and whether I am part of that in any way, not even acting in it, but whether, you know, she wants me there, if it happens as like, I don't know, her assistant, you know, if it's, if it's like they got Chris Hemsworth, I mean, I have no chance, so it's all good, but we, 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 her and I both are on the same page that we do want one of these things to turn into the next thing. So, you know, doing these little book trailers, it could help. Someone could see that. Someone could be like, wow, that that's really interesting. What are you guys doing here? Oh, it's just a book. Oh, it's a book, but you did this video. Mm, okay. All right. Let's talk to your people. You never know, right? Like this, these days, this is the stuff you create. You love doing it. And it's a win no matter what happens moving forward. Wow, that's wild to think how, yeah, I mean, it could result in that. And then you could be playing if Chris Hemsworth is busy doing something else, hanging out in Australia, you could be like their choice. <laughs> Probably a lot cheaper, to be honest, by like $15, $20 at the median too. So that's basically, <laughs> you're winning. <laughs> uh, like the whole budget goes towards his salary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that'd, that'd be awesome. But um, yeah, we that's 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 the goal. That's the goal. You know, you, you just, you keep it on the back burner, hoping that it does happen. 
but you put the work in and, and you, you, you make this novella and you see what happens. That's it. That's right. And with all the streamers out there, I'm sure any of them would love to find this. I, I Maybe this interview will get out there and someone will see it. It'll cross their paths and who knows what could result. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's always uh, the unknown. But um, like I said, it's always just do the work, do the honest work, have, have fun doing it. And, you know, let every let, let all the other like little logistical stuff just fall into place on its own kind of thing is how I, I try to approach things. You know, I can't yeah, as much as we all want to make lots of money and pay our bills right away and all this stuff. Like, you know, I'm, I'm just so happy to do the things I want to be doing with no one tapping my shoulder being like, you can't do that. Well, yeah. And like, um, as an actor, so much is like out of your hands, like you do your part and then you're just like, okay, then you hope someone picks you or you never know if like a pilot will get picked up and what will go from there. So you just do the best you can. And then who knows what can come from it. And my gosh, we got right into this. I didn't even say like the title of the book and like where people can purchase it. For sure. So the title of the book is called The Lost Letters. And it's in conjunction with another one of her books called The Broken One that I'm also on the cover of. So it makes perfect sense that this happened, right? That I would be the co-writer, author of her next. No, it doesn't make sense at all. But uh, and it's available on May 4th on Amazon. And yeah, just search uh, The Lost Letters by Joseph Kanata and Brittany Shaheen, and you'll find it on there. I think it's already available for pre-sale though. So get out there and, and, and pick it up. Yes, I will link um, that in the description so everyone can just like do a quick click and get to ordering. <laughs> we talked a little bit about just like how you got involved with this and everything, but like, do you want to talk at all about like the writing process? Did you like sit in front of a computer and start typing or did you go old school pen and paper? Uh, so with my journaling, I write like I write with pen and paper um, for this. Brittany and I, I think what was best for both of us and for, for me, especially with this process was just um, being in, in like the room together. So we, we were in Google Docs, which is something I've never used before. So like, you know, chat room and all the information and the writing is there. And like you can see each other like writing right away what we're, our thoughts are and this and that. So we were working in there and she kind of was like laying out like a blueprint for me in a way, like bullet points, like, you know, touch on, try to touch on this. This is the situation beforehand, because unfortunately I didn't finish reading her, her the book that this pertains to. So she was like kind of catching me up. Yeah. So I just, I just wrote, I don't know, I think it just kind of didn't just come naturally at all. Like she, she was there helping me like for sure. And I, she's not like, Hey, do you go write these letters? I'll talk to you in a week. It wasn't, no, it was like, am I on the right track? She's like, yeah, it's great. But if I need to touch up on this, like the date is wrong, or you said something incorrect, that doesn't um, not make sense, but doesn't flow with the book. I'll make an adjustment, but everything kind of like flowed pretty well in a way. So the character that I'm portraying, his name is Jesse. And in the title of her first book, The Broken One, you can kind of get an idea of, you know, his his being. He he's he's a pretty broken man, but super in love with this uh, this woman Ella, and has been for a very very long time, but hasn't been able to really commit to her because of you know certain things that he's been through, and he wants to keep her safe because he's in like a version of the CIA uh, type of thing. So he's served overseas and all these kind of crazy ops that he's been on and to keep her safe he would not be with her and he would like not be rude to her but he would kind of you know push her away kind of thing so in the lost letters you know you get the povs and then you get these letters that they kind of they wrote to each other but never sent to each other without giving too much away so in jesse's words are my words and Ella's words are Brittany's words. So it brings a really interesting dynamic. And like I said, with the reviews that I've read, like a lot of the readers have loved the fact that that's a, that's those are a man's words in, in the book, not just a woman writing these words, but this, oh, that's like a perspective of a man and a woman and the way they come together and the way the letters kind of like, the way Brittany kind of uh, meshed both of the letters together, just chef's kiss, I must say. Yeah. Hats off to her. I mean, she's brilliant. So I expect that's what I expect. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. so cool. Well, I'm sure you'll love to like read over the reviews when people start 
getting oh, to no. read this and uh, kind of get their feedback. I'm sure everyone's going to love it. I know there's been a lot of response to um, just like the book cover and everything. And I saw like on your stories, everyone's just so excited. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's like I said, it's just something so new and it just it, like the other day when we released the book cover, it was like, it just felt like, yeah, it's, it felt fresh. It felt like I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm super proud of this. Like, this is, this is fun. I want to do more fun things with my life you know, and, and share those with other people. And like, again, I am not a writer. I never thought I would write or, you know, publish something. So um, to knock that off the list in, in my thirties, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. But I think I've, uh, I've accomplished a lot, but like, you know, sky's the limit, I think most definitely. For sure. That's so cool. I was going to say something. I just, <laughs> okay. oh man, give me a second. Always. Well, that's always the case with me. So I get it. It's like, there's a million thoughts going on and like, which one's going to come out and then the others like fly away and you're like, some, they'll come back eventually. Does that make you nervous, right? Like that, is that the truth? Yeah. I'm very nervous right now. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> Chill. You're cool. Yeah. You're cool. Yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> right. It's, it's always like a million things going through your head and you're trying to like still be able to articulate properly. It's tough to articulate. <laughs> tough to articulate. I know. Like I have that problem. So I'm shocked that I'm able to even say words. I'm serious. <laughs> you sound very intelligent. You want to know something funny? In elementary school, I was painfully shy, like scared of my own shadow, probably, most likely. And when I was going into high school, I guess my teachers at the time in elementary school were relaying this message to them, like, I guess, like guidance counselors or whomever in high school saying, you know, Joseph, um, a little might be a little slow i don't know what word to use here he might, i just i was shy so i was timid i never wanted to read i never wanted to like put my hand up and participate in things i was just so shy and uh in high school i was i was placed in um the special education program for two years that's crazy you know and for a long time like for for my first two years in high school I, or even like th into my third year when i was out of that i was like is there like, you know, is there, am I something wrong? Something I don't know? Something like my parents are hiding from me? Yeah. I later found out that like, yeah, my parents were like, we didn't know. Obviously, you, you know, you were, you were so scared of everybody. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't know. And uh turned out, yeah, you know, I had to break out of my shell at some point. Yeah. And you blossomed into a beautiful flower. <laughs> blossomed into an actor. How does that make any sense? I don't know. Who knows? Know. Who knows? Not to make sense. Works for me. I'm mm -hmm. doing me. I'm talking to no one anyways. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I'm like, you just change one day. You wake up and you're like, I'm not shy anymore. What happened? <laughs> no, I feel you completely. I, I think it's like now it's, I'm a little more timid and I, I prefer to be quiet. I like to, to listen more than be like a center of attention. And I don't really like to be like a storyteller too, too much, you know, in a, in a room full of people I, that I think that comes with like your mood. Even these days, like I still, you know, I, sometimes if I, you know, want to go to the mall or something, I'll be like, oh my God, there's so many people at the mall. Yeah. And maybe that's a bit of anxiety too, but like, I just, I don't know, like sometimes just people give me the, so I have to create this like character in my head be like, okay, hey, today you're Christian Grey and you're going to the mall and you're the man. So go buy whatever the hell you want and be the man and, you know, turn that on as an actor and you, away you go. But I'm sweating on the inside doing it. like I might look confident on the outside, but on the inside I'm like dripping. So it's a weird, I'm a weird, weird, weird thing. That's interesting. Two things going on simultaneously. Yeah. yeah. No, I feel you about the crowds. I'm just like, I like it. I like going to the grocery store at like 10 p.m. at night and nobody's there and the roads are empty and it's just like calming. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. No, you don't have to like bump carts into people. I don't know. It's just I hear you. I totally understand and hear you and uh and I get it completely. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's a thing and every everywhere's getting busier. I don't know how it is where you are. I'm super open. I just know Toronto is not really where I'm like happy like where I'm like the happiest or where I want to settle. So again, open minded. Stay open minded, see what happens. Yeah, just check out the world. I've never been anywhere, so I can't recommend many places, <laughs> but uh yeah, might as well venture out and explore. <laughs> Yeah. When I was in Spain and I went to Mallorca, I'm like, I need to live in Mallorca. Like, I think this is where I need to live. 
And then when I shot A Brush with Christmas, my DOP was from Vancouver, but he bought a place in Barcelona and he showed me his place in Barcelona. I'm like, <laughs> I guess I got to move to Barcelona now. So, um, yeah, I'm super open, but I I'm glad I think this way because it, 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 I don't want to be like stuck in a place. And then 10 years later, you're like, mm. I always think what if so. Yeah. You never know. Uh, tell me, is your last name Italian? It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My mom and dad are both Italian. My dad was actually born in uh, Sicily and my mom, um, she's Sicilian as well by her parents, but she was born in Venezuela, but she's basically Sicilian as well. So that's yeah. so cool. Both my mom and dad are Italiano and uh, they got me. <laughs> Do you have a favorite Italian food? <laughs> favorite Italian food? Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Like I mean, I think Italian food, not to be biased, is my favorite. I just love pasta way too much. Yeah, I've been eating pasta since I was like zero years old. So I always zero I years always, old. Wow, <laughs> zero. Like I think my grandmother at the time was like, "Give him a bowl of pasta right now." And, uh, yeah, it just, it's, it's just, it's so home feeling for me. You know, my grandparents aren't around anymore, but when my grandmother was like every time going to her place, is just bowls of pasta, have a bowl of pasta. And if it wasn't, eat, if I wasn't eating it, she was like making it, it was, it was just like nonstop. So a nice bowl of pasta with like regular sauce is just a little bit of basil on top. Mm. Pizza just, is a good choice. I had pizza right before this. Pizza is the best too, of course. Uh, and there's so many like variations of pizza you can eat. So um, have at it for sure. <laughs> have at the pizza. At the pizza. Eat all the pizza you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, I guess we should start wrapping up pretty quickly. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm sure you have cool. a, a busy Friday night planned with fun things. Um, but I'm trying to think, do you have any other projects in the works or anything you want to talk about? If not, then that's cool too. Yes, no. So right now it's just been super quiet. Like I said, I haven't, uh, which has been good because the last two weeks have been super busy with regards to the, um, to this book project. So haven't had like any auditions or anything like that. And that's okay. Like, you know, I, my mind has been elsewhere anyway. So maybe these, it was like, this hasn't been happening, but we'll see. I auditioned for a TV show that I think would, would start shooting end of May. So I haven't heard from that. And that's a show I'd really like to, to get. So fingers are crossed still, but again, we'll, we'll take it in stride and see what happens and see what comes. And, you know, hopefully, or maybe Brittany and I will get a, a little bit of a deal for uh, making a, a film out of this book. Who, who knows putting it in the universe. <laughs> but, okay. Well, I guess we finished it last night with rapid fire questions, but they were more oh. Christmas based. So we'll switch it up a little bit and do just like your generic ones. Making me nervous. All right. Okay. What is the last movie you watched? I'm um, currently, I haven't finished it yet. Uh, Ghosted. Interesting. With, haven't heard of it. With Chris Evans and Anna mm -hmm. de Armas. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I have heard that. I know what you're talking about. Um, and uh, who is your favorite singer and or band? Uh, my favorite singer and or band. Um, I got to go back to old school. I think Lifehouse is still my favorite band. Um, just the my my upbringing and and listening to them at the time of like high school and like finding yourself. I think that band for me is like the definition um, for me. And favorite singer. Uh, I'm really liking Jack Harlow right now. He's like uh, R&B, hip hop. I, I've nice heard his name. name. Yeah. Okay. I only listen to 70s and 80s and then Taylor Swift. <laughs> so anything else, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nice. I love oh, Elvis. Oh, Elvis. Very classic. <laughs> did you see I the like, movie? I did. Yeah, I did. I thought it was good. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I guess it was sort of what I thought it would be because of um, Baz Luhrmann. If, if you're like, if you watched, uh, if you watch Gatsby, you kind of get a feel for what he's going to bring at you. So, but it wasn't still, I thought it was going to be a little bit different, but it was great. That, that the whole vibe, the way he shot it and everything I thought was really interesting. Have you ever been to uh, Memphis or like to the state of Tennessee? No, no. Um, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what is your go-to coffee drink? My go-to coffee drink. Uh, oh my God, I'm going to cringe even saying it, but here we go. 
Uh, I get a flat white with oat milk. That's not yeah. cringe worthy. That sounds decent. <laughs> it is. It's good. I just. I feel like. A, I don't know. I feel like a. I feel like my nose is in the air when I order it at at a store. Can I get a flat white with oat milk? What? what why you don't like regular milk, sir? No. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be That's so funny. for the oat milk though. Are you? Yeah. I want my expensive coffee. Yeah. I know they add so much for the dairy alternatives. You're just like, but it's, it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. There's, I was going to a coffee shop in LA when I was there. And, um, when I was swiping my card and, and right away on my phone, I'd get the, the price and it, it would come back at me in Canadian and I'd get like a coffee and like a croissant. And I would look at the total. I'd be like, what has happened to the world? How was how was that seventeen dollars? But I, I yeah I don't know I don't know how coffee and a croissant is seventeen dollars Canadian, but yeah it is. That's wild, so overpriced inflation. Um, <laughs> gosh, you made me think of something. Did you go? Did you go to Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf out there? Uh, I've been. I didn't go when I was there on this last trip. I was uh, I stayed in a new place in Santa Monica, and there was a the the gentleman I was working with that was filming me. Um, I suggested a, a coffee shop and we went and he was spot on. It was like, it was like one of the best coffees I've had. So hats off to that coffee shop. Very but cool. I, I yeah. coffee, coffee bean and tea leaf before though, for sure. Yeah. They have a really good iced coffee, like low sugar vanilla powder stuff. If you ever go back and their ice is like the cool, like crushed ice kind of thing. And that's, it's really good. <laughs> I can hear what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, nice. definitely. I want a nice coffee. Great. Ice coffee is so good. I'm addicted. Um, and then finally, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream flavor is mint chocolate chip. Uh, yeah, mint chocolate chip. Love, love mint, love chocolate, and I love chocolate chips. Just chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. It's all the chocolate, please, for sure. What about you? Uh, every flavor. I love ice cream. I don't even care. Just any ice cream. I don't discriminate. Yeah. Just surprise me. Have you, yeah. you haven't been to Spain, have you? I've never been outside of the United States. I have oh. never traveled. I, I'm sorry, I get kind of like passionate about this because I've never done anything. You have to, you have to. Gosh, when, boy, when, do I want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. I was just saying Spain because in Mallorca, there was this amazing um, ice cream shop there that we I would wait like 20 minutes in line for after dinner because I was so busy. But I'm telling you, like, I want... To, to dive into the ice cream like head first delicious Man. that's interesting that's an interesting visual um <laughs> obviously but so i refrained it was hard but i uh just ate it with a small spoon instead well that's the a good alternative <laughs> a normal human being right <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much for talking with me this was super fun but i appreciate your time i appreciate your time and let's talk soon again when uh, we both worked on something else Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yes, I'm crossing my hands and my toes as well. So um, best of luck to you with everything and congratulations on this. I really appreciate that, Betsy. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Right. You too. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you love all things Up TV, Hallmark Channel, GAC Family, basically all of your made for TV movie channels, click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the previews, the recaps, or the interviews. Until next time, thank you so much for listening to Hallmark Happenings. Have a great day.